Welcome back fellow web creators and entrepreneurs. In this tutorial we'll cover multiple ways to crop an image in Adobe Photoshop. To kick things off I've added a photo that doesn't quite fit to my canvas so I'd like to crop the excess canvas down to fit the photo. Depending on what you're trying to crop in Photoshop there are different ways to achieve your desired result. We're simply cropping the canvas to this picture's original size. So the first and simplest way to achieve this is to hold the control key, command on Mac, and click your picture's layer in the layers panel down here. Notice the marching ants perfectly hugging the picture's edge? This is because you just selected everything on that layer. Now pop up to the image menu and click crop. And there you go, a quick and simple crop. But let's say you want to crop further into the picture using your own custom selection. This time choose the selection tool up here or hit M on your keyboard. Now click hold and drag your mouse over the image to get your desired selection. Keep in mind that you can hold the shift key as you drag to maintain a square shape or you can hold the alt key option on Mac as you drag to centralize your selection. And you can hold the alt key plus the shift key as you drag to center and maintain a square. Again, pop up to the image menu, click crop and you're done. Lastly, but certainly not least, if you want more control and suggested crop options, Photoshop actually has a dedicated crop tool. Click the crop tool over here or hit C on your keyboard. Now you'll see your canvas is divided into nine segments with handles around the edges. If we drag from any corner, we have free reign over the aspect ratio of the crop. However, much like the selection tool, you can hold shift as you drag to maintain aspect ratio and alt to centralize your selection. You can move your crop placement by dragging from anywhere inside the crop and also rotate it by dragging from anywhere outside the crop. Additionally, you can also drag the anchor point from the center of the crop tool to any edge and as you drag holding alt or option on Mac, your crop will center around that new anchor point. A helpful tip when using the crop tool Make sure that snapping is enabled and your crop tool will snap to any edge. Click the view menu then go down and click snap to enable it. Finally you can choose pre-selected crop aspect ratios from this drop down menu up here if you want to stick with a standard format. Then click the clear button over here if you want to return to freeform crop. To complete your crop click the tick button up here. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.